So for the middle class, people always say, they tag this and say it's not financial advice. And I think at this point in time, I don't give a fuck about what that is. <laughs> you can come at me. The smart money is going at Bitcoin. Yeah, Absolutely. The smart money is going at Ethereum. And they will choose. You just have to wait to see which third one they choose. They won't go with the top 100. They won't go with the top 10. Follow the smart money and start to put the little money you have, Let me tell you something. as little as it may be, in especially those two. And you will see your money grow and multiply. You may not hit a lick and have a million dollars, but you might end up with 20, you might end up with 30, and you can multiply that and do something with it. Let me tell you something about strategy here. Guy I follow, he's a popular crypto influencer, and he has like a group, right? So they literally have a list of VCs, like venture capital firms, mm -hmm. and they follow all the investments they make in the crypto and web three space. Okay. So it's like, okay, ABC venture capital invested X amount in the Ripple. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see what's going on there. Ripple might. Because the thing is, when you when you follow smart money, when you follow institutions, they already did the research. Not to say you can't, you shouldn't do your own research, but mm -hmm. a lot of them are not going to throw a hundred million behind a project or a million behind a project without some sort of due diligence or without some idea of where this thing is going to go in the future. And like you mentioned, like BlackRock. BlackRock owns like 99.9% .9 of everything out here. So... If you see anything that BlackRock is putting their name behind and they're investing a lot of money behind, because that's a they have like what, ten trillion in assets or something like that, you know, like okay, they already pretty much know where they're doing. Mm -hmm. Like you say, just follow them, see what all they're looking for, and just go from there. Yeah, easy copy and paste. That's they, it. They make the markets. Yeah, yeah. When they move, that influences the market. Of course. You know who, who has had the best returns, has beaten the indexes more than hedge funds? U.S. Senators. Yo, oh, oh yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> they have access to all the information. Nancy they know Pelosi. what it passes. They know what it's going to go in. Of Nancy, course. Nancy yeah. Pelosi and, is a beast. And, and they have <laughs> different um, programs that follow what they call, I think they call it the unusual whale. Okay. So they have a yeah, list yeah, of yeah. these senators. So whenever they sell off or they buy, they flag everybody to buy and follow these people. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, here's the thing. We know that the system is corrupt. We know people would access the information. And I'm not even going to look into this camera and lie to you. If I fucking had access to the information too, I would be making some money. Now, would I take more of my people along with it? Of course I will. So, Jay, are you saying that you would cheat with the system? A fucking course. Because I want money. If you want to be broke, that's on you. Listen, if you think it's happy and that's make you happy, great. What listen, about conflict of interest? Listen, what about ethics? What I would about, rather. What ethics, Theo? What about the moral high ground? What fucking moral high ground? <laughs> let me, let say me, say something, let me say something. I would rather cheat and get rich let me tell you something. than yeah. follow the rules and be broke. Because at the end of the day, if I'm rich, I can help more people. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can do more. For regular people with money, that man fucking broke. You know how much scholarships I could give? You know how many kids I can help feed? Come on, man. That's that, was, that. that was a joke. That was a joke. Just let y'all know that was a joke. Well, I ain't fucking joking. <laughs> I am not. If I find an exploit, I will do it. Because I fundamentally know that the only way that you make money in this current system, fuck working hard. Yeah. You have to be at the right place, at the right time, and you have to have balls. You have to be a risk taker, and it has to be a calculated risk. Yes. And you gotta go. You have to have money. nerves of steel. Even yeah. with this crypto thing and getting in to where we got in, you got in way before yeah, me. Yeah. You got in way before me. And I feel like I was stressed the fuck out and I just got in two years ago. Right? You had to have balls. You had to be committed. You had to understand what it is that you were doing, what your ultimate goal was, because there were some high highs and there were some low lows. 
Look, I would not be surprised to see at least a 5X. From Bitcoin? From Bitcoin. And within what time? Within a year. I wouldn't be surprised. I think I think I think for for my portfolio, that's a really good box. Yeah. Yeah. From what I and here's the thing. People look at it and they say they'll Google and go on Coin Market Cap and they'll see, okay, well it's thirty thousand dollars I missed the bus. No, you didn't. Yeah. Right now you could go on whatever exchange it is that you want to go on, Binance, Crypto.com, um, Coin um, Coinbase, you could buy a piece. You could transfer it over to your wallet and you could hold on it. And you could continue to do that. You could literally, and crypto.com, I love, this is why I love crypto.com for this. For my behavior people listening out there. You could take your little coin with bank card. You could say, okay, I get paid weekly. Before my mommy get this $50, let me set up, buy $50 worth of Bitcoin every week as long as I'm a job. And guess what? That is going to pay more dividends for you than any fucking thing you could do. ASU, um, fucking NIB, because NIB is a fucking we, we could talk with that shit <laughs> in a minute. We could talk with that because they doing us, but that's a different particular, that's a different show. 